Hey everybody, HMV here. Playing more Darkest Dungeon, and I'm deciding if I want to trade 108 crests for. Um, sorry about the, the splash there. I'm changing my my thing, my notepad to my Darkest Dungeon say, thing, and that makes the uh, the screen flash. And I get out of there. Okay, I'm deciding whether or not I want to trade um, crests for portraits to get 55 core portraits to uh, get up here. The next thing I want is busts. And then I also want deeds. Um, and we tend to get tons more crests than anything else. Um, if I do this, it's gonna give me 18 portraits, which will give me 55, which means I can unlock the bank. And I've got 47 grand in the bank and I've already upgraded everybody. So I think I'm gonna do it. So boom, we just got 55 of these. And now I'm gonna use a blueprint to purchase the bank. And now we're gonna be making 5% per week, um, which is nice. Uh, it's It's, I think it's worth it. <laughs> I, th I think it's awesomely worth it. Um, if we keep it at 50, uh, 50 grand here, it's going to pay itself off, um, at least in money, in uh, six weeks. And then after that, it's gravy. So um, it's definitely worth it. I have a slightly different crew than we had last time, or than I, I said I was going to do. I decided to bring out um, Altard here because uh, this will level him up to level six, and then he'll be ready to go into the Darkest Dungeon. Um, I also removed... Um, uh, whoever whoever I had, and I brought Bluet along. Uh, Bluet is suffering from the Crimson Curse along with Altard, um, but I don't think in uh, boss battles you can uh, meet the fanatic. We'll find out when we go out there. But these guys are all level six and five, so they even a, even a, a mid level fanatic they should be fine against. But we are going to have to bring out some blood, and I still need to trinket them. So I will see you in the dungeon. An incoherent jumble of organ, sinew, and bone. Okay, the organ, sinew, and bone can either be here or here. So let's go that way. Uh, we'll just cut this the middle and then figure it out when we get there. Um, not really all that scared of what I'm going to meet up here. Um, he is craving, so his first job is to get some... Uh, his first job is to get some uh, blood in him. Also brought some laudanum. Probably not necessary, but hey, why not? Um, let's go ahead and stun this guy too. So now the only guy who's going to move uh, is going to have a stumbling scratch. Then let's kill her with a crit. So now that guy isn't going to just have a stumbling scratch. And let's go ahead and stun this guy. Then. Um, the trinkets I chose. Uh, by the way, I sold some trinkets. I don't know if I just said that. Um, I sold some trinkets to. Uh, to make more money, to, to make um, to, to make the bank just more profitable. And uh, there we go, he's dead. Um, you know, there's nothing we can do other than <laughs> just kill him. But uh, to make just more money, and um, already, that's hilarious. We'll just drop that, because it wasn't on the list of requirements here. Keep all these things together at the, at the end of the line here. Um, oh, wow. Well, I guess we're going to give it to you because you're going to be reposting a lot. Uh, herbs. Um, and I've got like 78 grand in the bank, so I'll be making 5% of that, which is 14,000? 140,000? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how much it is. It's a lot. Um, 14,000, I guess it'll be. Uh, let's just head down the center here, and there's a wall. Not a big deal. We have plenty of shovels. But yeah, I, I prioritized um, accuracy for the most part, although he doesn't have any accuracy on him. Uh, in general, I prioritize accuracy. And I only brought one shovel. Did I seriously only buy, bring one shovel? Was I only supposed to bring one shovel? I was only supposed to bring one shovel. If I had done that, I probably would have gone around. But, oh well. Um, hopefully we won't care. Um, let's see. We have a pretty good chance of just killing all these guys. So I'm not going to bother with the repost. And of course, now we don't. Um, maybe we'll get lucky and be able to Hounds Harry or something like that. Uh, yeah, Hounds Rush is definitely worth doing. Although now he's dead. But Hounds Rush, no. If, if, if the Houndmaster goes first, Hounds Rush is worth doing. Okay, it's not. It might still be worth doing, but I don't think so. I think he's gonna attack this guy. 
another abomination cleansed from our lands. And I just miss this guy. Wow. Slowly, gently. Miss him slowly and gently. Yeah, we're super OP for this for this level. Um, Triumphant pride precipitates. So I'm not too worried about uh, about losing. Keep the stuff all together here. Okay. Nice scout. See, I was hoping for scouts. Oh, secret room. Yeah, I I don't see any reason to go for it now. We can come back and get it later. So let's just uh, let's just keep moving here. Everybody should have great trap disarm chance, but we might as well go for the 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 guaranteed trap disarm. And then ideally we'll get a scout here. That's what I'm hoping. If we get a scout here that tells us where where this is, then we're good. Yes. Oh, I didn't realize he, the boss could be down here, which is awesome. That means we can go down and grab the boss and then just swoop around and grab all of this stuff. So let's do that. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and eat our food. I don't think we're going to camp. I really don't think... I don't see any reason to camp. We are going to walk all over this boss, so we might as well... Uh, might as well save the camp. We've got the we've got the damage buff on him. Um, we also don't technically need the food yet. Um, yeah, we'll we'll leave these we'll leave these for the for the trek back. Um, she is craving, so go ahead and take some blood for yourself. Uh, we got two people in bloodlust, which is awesome. And uh, yeah, I don't see any reason to be worried about anything. Um, minus four speed for the quest, but you can't take that for it, which means we're just going to deal with it. Okay, let's go. Squirming. Yeah, the, this was pointed out in a stream I was watching. I think it was on Bear Taffy stream. This thing here is a pig. There's his leg. This is uh, not his head. <laughs> and a worm comes out of here and attacks you. <laughs> that is just disgusting. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna get our repost on because that's the whole point of him. Um, then we are going to... I wanted to bring it the, the, the double thing, but that's no big deal, because you're basically going to be double blighting the back row the entire game. There is no choosing involved here. Yeah, see, like, oh, worm out of the... Ugh, that's just so gross. Temptation grows with each blow. We're picking on uh, you, which sucks, because you're going to have to heal yourself, and you've got um, the awesome Eldritch damage and crit bonus. But what are you going to do? We're definitely going to dog bone here. And then every round, I upped his accuracy on range skills specifically for this fight to, to guarantee that all four of those hit. Well, maybe not guarantee, but to executed. mostly guarantee that all of those hit. Okay. Um, yep, we're not going to worry too much about the damage on our guys. Um, we will, uh, we will bandage his bleed. <laughs> also, he has uh, this cleansing crystal on him, which lowers his bleed skill chance, so his heal is, is very unlikely to cause um, bleed, which is awesome. Sadly, he has to keep using it on himself <laughs> and not damage the enemy, but we seem to be doing okay otherwise. Give it to me. Don't hit the, your teammate. Jeez. Um, we could get a stun off. Um, is it worth it? Sure. Precision and power. All those bleeds are awesome. All those blights are awesome. I forgot to uh, bandage that, which is annoying. But the Plague Doctor has to do some healing here. Uh, three damage per round for four rounds, or six for two. It's basically the same. So let's go ahead and heal him up. <coughs> okay, uh, I think we're going to heal the Houndmaster for zero, which is perfect. That's exactly what I wanted to happen. Don't hit your teammate. Oh, cool. Awesome. Um, okay, we need to get the repost going again. You do more damage to this guy. It's uh, mediocre, but hey, might as well do it. 
He should be dead probably by the end of next round. And oh, nice dodge. You probably would have been at death's door. Um, don't need the dog biscuit yet, so go ahead and do that. Yeah, they are definitely on the verge of death here. Uh, they're taking 12 damage per round on these guys, which means two of them are going to go, and that'll be the end of the game. Um, this, though, will not cause them to die this round, so we're not going to do it. We are going to cure Blight on him, because her move wouldn't have guaranteed the, the death of anybody. Um, you are going to heal him for two. <laughs> it's two more than he healed last time, I guess. Um, Sanguine Stroke, I didn't think about that. We have to do a little bit of damage. Because that actually brought him back up, so... Oh, well. But the next person to move is going to die. As, well, with, if this guy's the next person to move. Um, so instead we can crush, and this will kill if it hits. Its destruction is a small consolation, given the implications of its terrible existence. Very nice. Very, very nice. Okay, we don't need money as much anymore. That's something important to note. However, if we can, we're going to still bring it. Um, but there's nothing I want to drop for money, so we're, or for this, but we do t still want to pick these up. That's important to note that, that money is not important anymore um, in the dungeon. So uh, let's go ahead and do this. It has a map. We literally don't care. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna take a whole bunch of food here and eat it, and ignore where it came from. Uh, I think that's fair. And then now we'll fight this fight and get some more blood. Hey, uh, their blight resistance is high. Her blight chance is not super high. I wish I wish I had remembered. Let's go ahead and stun this guy, because we can. But I wish I had remembered to uh, switch out her stun move now. Um, let's go ahead and get a repost on, which is awesome. That's very nicely done. And uh, this is the only chance to kill. So I think we're going to go for double hit here. That's fine. She's already Crimson Cursed. Um, you know what? I'm going to use the Dog Bone here, even though it's probably not strictly necessary. And this is a pretty good chance to kill because it's two bleed. Did one damage. That's good. And I put bleed on everybody, which is perfect. So this guy's now dead. This guy's going to be dead in three rounds, which isn't great. Unforgiving. Okay, nice dodge there. Um, let's go and stab this guy. Now he's dead in three rounds. Uh, things aren't going as great as they could. This will not kill this guy anytime soon, and it will kill both of these guys. We don't need to cure anything, so let's go ahead and just kill one of these guys. He still has his repost. I'm going to kill that thing. And this is the only guy left, and if the Houndmaster gets to go first... We got it. Nice, and we were able to carry everything, so that's good. Now, it's critical to... We need to decide when we're going to camp um, and what we're going to do when we camp. Um, even though money is no object, I will happily uh, throw certain things away to, to get the money out of those, just because it's so much better. Empty box. We don't really have any problems with stress or anything, uh, but it would be nice to... Um, it would be nice to leave the dungeon with, with no stress or anything like that and not worry about damage and things like that. And man, it's just like the game doesn't want me to do the thing. Um, what are these buffs? 30% damage. You're really the best one to do this to. We're just going to pack it up on you. Okay, this guy must die first. Um... Yeah, I think we're going to crush instead of uh, reposting because I want to get rid of that guy so quickly. Then we're going to blight this guy. He's... Oh, no. Nope, didn't didn't kill him. Um, it's more of a chance to kill him here. Didn't work. But this is a good move now because if the bleed lands, he's dead. Can't believe I couldn't kill three guys with my four, but sometimes you get bad luck. Okay, now we can uh, we can work on healing now. 
So let's go ahead and heal him for 22. That's really nice. Uh, it must bleed, and then you hurt him. Nice. That's really cute. Thanks. Uh, let's go ahead and stun this guy. Oh, you can't stun the back rank. So let's go ahead and do a measly little heal on you. And let's go ahead and just crush this guy. Destroyed. Destroyed. And the Sly Eye Patch. Dodge with lack of resist. I don't think that's any... Like, there's definitely not better than what I currently have. And I think I might even have one already. Um, I think we're going to ditch the bandages for these. Let's go ahead and get our things kind of sorted here. Uh, money. These... And then provisions, and we'll just drop this down here, and then we got provisions up top. Okay. Uh, you are just regular Crimson Curse, you have Bloodlust. Uh, we didn't get any blood from those guys, which is kind of annoying. But you can't always choose when you get that. Okay, Swine Tar. Not a big fan, but I think I'm still going to go for this guy first. Um, but this is going to be a long fight, so let's go ahead and get this going. And I used up my dog bone already. Um, I still didn't set that up. Well, it's not a super likely thing, but she is leveled up higher. Um, hopefully this guy's dead. He is. That's perfect. Okay, so we're going to kill Wilbur back in the back here. He's dead, and now all we got left is the swine tar. And I hate the crunching backhand, but we dodged both of them. Uh, we're going to start healing now as well. Um... Although, stunning this guy would be awesome, and she does have a very high stun chance. Uh, let's go ahead and heal her up for her efforts. And let's go and get some bleed on him. And some crush. And my life for the Crimson Fluid. Okay, let's go ahead and start blighting, even though his blight resistance... He has it, it's just not super high. And I don't think we're going to bother uh, trying to heal anymore now. We're doing 8 damage a round. Um, he's got stun resist. He's got a really high stun resist. And you don't have your repost anymore, so go ahead and get it back going. Go ahead and get some more bleed on him. He's got 24, and he's taking 12. No, he's, yeah, 10 he's taking. So we need to do 4 damage to him. If we do 4 damage to him, he's dead. Um, and this will do it. So now you can heal yourself. And then now uh, we can try to kill him because a little bit of stress relief isn't going to be bad. Prodigious size alone does not dissuade the nice. Um, however, I don't really see a need for any of these items. I, I need the key. Um, I don't probably need the laudanum. I probably don't need the gold, but I'm not going to trade it for any of this stuff. So let's go ahead and close out. And I realized I want to swap this for this and then this for that. Now, provisions on the top, stuff on the bottom. Okay, Eldritch Altar. What does an Eldritch Altar do? Holy Quarter could remove a negative quirk or a disease, not counting the Crimson Curse, of course. Don't really care about your diseases. Uh, we are in the Warrens and you're a Warrens phobe, but other than that, I don't really care about you. Calm is probably the worst one. Uh, Torn Rotator, we don't care about her melee skills, so let's try to get rid of Calm, and hey, if we get rid of Zoophobia, we'll be happy. Okay, I'm not as happy as I thought I would be, but... Okay, we're just going to skip this whole this whole route up here. We're going to go here, and then up and around this way, and then go to the Seeker Room and probably just bail after that. Okay. If we have the chance, we do. We're going to stun her, bring her forward which has a double duty of removing her damage from the first round and also uh, making him useless. Um, and then we are going to... Actually, let's go ahead and stab him, because I didn't want to get a critical on one of these guys pulling him forward. Um, bleed isn't really going to help too much, so let's go ahead and stun this guy. Why not? Now he's going to do a stumbling scratch and get reposted on and probably die. Perfect. Now we need to kill her. Behold the power of the blood. Okay, if we can stun her again, which is definitely a possibility, but I would rather just kill her. But if we can stun her, no, we can't. But any stun on her will kill her, and five damage will also kill her. 
Um, more likely to kill this guy, and I want the stress relief. So let's do it. And we don't really need to worry about anything, so let's go ahead and bring Spring the line up and smack her in the face. Okay, we got the gold. I'm happy with that. Let's keep moving. Uh, you are perfect for tr disarming the trap because you, A, can't fail, and B, will get the best benefit of the stress relief. Um, I think we could probably drop the holy water. Give it to you. Uh, swap that for that, and then bring it over here. Actually, let's bring the eye patch up here. There we go. Slowly ordering things correctly. Um, we could definitely use more heirlooms, but we haven't dropped any, so it's not like we're it's not like we're <laughs> not trying. It's just we're not getting them. Okay, definitely want to get our repost on. This is going to be a really easy fight though, because this guy, even though he's a boss, is super weak. Um, someday I'm going to remember her stun, her double stun move in the back. Um, today is not that day. This guy is not dead, but we're just going to let him go. And the Master's going to lay in on this guy. Okay, never mind. He is dead. Um, don't really feel any need to uh, heal anybody, so... There's that. Double dodge. And... Stabby stab. And bloody blight. <laughs> See, 120% blight resistance, and he still got the blight on him. And now he is dead. So, let's get some stress relief. A victory. Perhaps a turning point. Victory and or a turning point. Okay, we need to drop something for this, and I think it's time to drop the laudanum, because it's fairly obvious we're not going to want it. Um, yeah, let's drop the laudanum for that, and then do that and that to keep everything ordered correctly. We still have our campfire. Um, and we probably don't have another fight. So let's go ahead and open this up. And a second key, which is hilarious. Um, let's go ahead and take it. This is worth 750, which would be nice. But you know what we can do? We can do this. We don't need to cure stress or anything. So let's just get our health kind of up a little bit. We have enough for two food activations, which is really what I'm concerned about. I want to make sure that, that we can uh, we can get the most out of the last part of this level here. Um, okay, and we don't really need to worry about stress. Um, we could prevent the nighttime ambush with you and then do the other two moves with you, and I think that's the way to go. So let's do that. Hound's Watch, Tactics, and Weapons Practice. In radiance, may we find victory. Check this out. <sighs> no. I'm not going to do it. Um, they're super overleveled for this, but it's still a um, veteran shambler, and uh, I only fight easy mode shamblers because you get the same benefit no matter which shambler you fight, so why would you fight the hard one? So sorry for anybody who wants to see <laughs> a shambler fight. I'm not going to do it. Okay, stashed heirlooms definitely want them. Um, I think it's time to drop this. I'm getting really low on provisions here. Finding the stuff is only the uh, first test. Don't want any of that. It must be carried home. We will very likely bail right after this. And key. Okay, we're going to drop the key for one of these. We're going to drop torches for that. And then we're going to drop the eye patch for that. And then 500 gold is not worth it. So we're going to drop that. So there's all of our money. And there's all of our heirlooms. We have enough food and blood to continue. So we are going to do that. Uh... We're going to keep going to this up through here, and then uh, this treasure room we're going to bail. Maybe go into this battle, but probably not. We just cannot seem to find a uh, food activation to save our lives. Um, I'm not sure why we would try to save our lives with a food activation, but... Um, we know we don't need food anymore. So it would behoove us to eat everything we can toss it, and take this gold. OK, 
Okay. Kind of sucks about the darkness because we he has uh, he has a thing and oh boy, these guys are going to give us blood, which isn't bad. Um, but I would like to <laughs> instead have not fought them. Uh, again, forgot the freaking double stun. That would be really nice right now. And oh, he missed it by one. I, I should have probably checked the percentages on that, but that makes this a good move. So we killed one of them, which I, I suppose we should be happy about. Okay. Can't give him the curse, which is nice. And then this guy has kind of got to go quickly, but he's already dead, actually. Six and two is eight. No, he needs a little bit more help. Um, probably another Hound's Rush will do it. So I think we're going to probably do the Hound's Rush on him. Or maybe we won't, because everyone will be dead before he has a chance to go. Uh, yeah, let's definitely do that. And there you go. Now there's no need to do a Hound's Rush. Uh, let's go ahead and... Yep, because we don't care about damage on us anymore. We just want to get rid of this guy so he doesn't cause any problems on us. Would have been nice to get the uh, a stress relief on him, but instead we got it on him. We have 16 stress total between us all. Um, we got no blood for that, which is annoying. Um, there's no reason to take these instead of either of these. So let's go ahead and close this and do one more thing, which is just go ahead and open it. It's trapped. And I'm going to push it one more. I don't remember how many invitations we have and how many we need, but I, I think I'm going to not take this invitation. The problem is I'm playing two... two uh, I'm playing two uh, runs of this, and I one of them I need invitations, the other one I don't. I think this is the one I don't need invitations. Let's go ahead and get this going on him. That kind of sucks. You're not supposed to resist when you only have 80% resistance. Why are you dodging all the things? Okay, there. Now we want to get this guy. Um, let's do that. Definitely could have had a better first round. That is very sure. Um, I'm going to do this to, to clear away that body so that uh, everybody can hit everybody. Um, it sucks that he's at three and taking two damage. Also sucks that he doesn't have his repost on. Uh, let's go ahead and blight him. And then let's go ahead and crush him. And doggy hit him. And now this guy, yeah, two damage, three. Yeah, they're, they're both going to have one left. It's so annoying. I haven't had repost all game. Okay, at least he's dead after this. And now this guy's dead. Decimated. And we're going to let the man-at-arms uh, do the do the final hit on that guy to get the most stress relief possible. Assuming he gets any. Three is better than zero. Invitation is the only thing we can't take. Um, is it worth a thousand gold? I'm going to say no. So we're going to close this off and we are going to get out of here. And a very successful run with a Coven Signet. Um, I don't care about it. But let's see. We, we made 27,000 gold. We had 72, so we, we should be at 100. Uh, we'll see what we have when we get back to the to the thing though quick draws awesome nocturnal's not a big deal we got a lot of good a lot of good quirks um we should have a little over 100 um when we get back but we're gonna have more than that because we made our we made our five percent we made five grand basically for having a hundred grand in the bank which is pretty awesome I, I i wonder if it actually adds it up afterwards um by hateful curse or malign miracle it seems even death cannot bring one of these people back and um i mean i might as well bring one of them back uh, but it sucks because they, they cost so much to, to upgrade. However, it costs less to upgrade because we have more in the bank now, which is nice. Um, we are also looking at the Darkest Dungeon, and that means uh, we are very likely 
Plague Doctor, Vestal, Grave Robber, Hellion. Um, doesn't really matter. I think we're going to bring back Riviere's um, because uh, it's funny, she's got syphilis um, because I could see possibly using her in the future. So let's go ahead and bring her back and uh, boom. She has returned from the grave, but even though she's level 6, she has, like, nothing. Um, the next thing we want to get here is the Sanguine Vintners, um, which is 80, of, 80 bus. It's going to take forever to get. The reason I want it, though, is because um, we're low on blood. And uh, if you look here very quickly, let's just toss a, toss a group together. And we try to provision them. Um... We only have six blood available, and uh, so we're, we're using more blood than we're getting. Um, we could also go into the courtyard. We do only have three, so I, I probably would have been a good idea to do this. Um, I also don't know for a fact if we've been in the courtyard or not. <laughs> um, it's been too many weeks, but I think next time we are going into the Darkest Dungeon, and here's what we're going to be sending in. We are going to be sending in... Let's sort by level here. We are going to be sending in a Hellion. Uh, where are you, Ms. Hellion? Why don't I see you? Do I seriously not have a Hellion? I don't have a Hellion. I spend all this time leveling up uh, you, and actually, oh my god, I am so bad at this game. I wanted a Grave Robber, which is perfect, actually. So we're not going into the Darkest Dungeon now, but I want a Hellion, and I thought I had a level 6 Hellion, but I don't see her at all, and that's a little alarming. We do have her, and she can go into the Darkest Dungeon. Oh no, she can't, because I'm not playing, uh, I'm not playing um, the level up game here. Although that's weird. That's very odd. I just sent level 5 and 6 people into... Did I have the wrong flesh and I was I was actually on a champion dungeon? I should really know these things. Where is the... There it is. Yeah, I beat the unstable flesh with level 5 and 6 people, but I'm not... I'm confused. No, this is a Radiant run. On a Radiant run, she should be able to go back in and just have extra stress. But it doesn't let her. Maybe they changed that in the upgrade or something like that. I, I don't know. But oh well, I guess I'm not going to do that. Um, but uh, So next time, we are not going to be sending these people in because I need a Hellion. Um, but I have a Grave Robber now who's level 6, which is awesome. I'm going to cure Syphilis on her. I have a Vestal who's level 6, and I have a Plague Doctor who's level 6. So all I need is the Hellion. So we're going to send Daryl. Um, and uh, Larry and her other brother, Daryl, <laughs> to uh, some sort of a run here. Uh, let's see what we're going to do. You know what? No, the courtyard's not a good idea because it doesn't level them up. Um, so we're probably going to send them into here. Um, it's a useless run, and it's garbage, and I don't like it, but it will get the job done. Um, I could send her into the ruins and get the Ancestor's Pen um, or the Cove and get uh, this resolve XP, which would be nice, although I've, I've basically got my people leveled up, so I don't really need that trinket anymore. Just, you know, I'd like it for the, for the bonus, but, um, if I, I would pick based on busts, but neither of these have busts. We need to upgrade the ruins, and they're generally the easiest ones, so I think we're gonna, we're gonna send her into the ruins, and we're going to give her an awesome party to fight with, including, um, you to up her XP, and including, uh, a Vestal, and someone in the back ranks. Maybe an Arbalist? Do we have a level 6 Arbalist? Looks like we do not. Do we have, now, we don't even have a level 5 Arbalist. We could send Crayon in. It's not a terrible party. Um... We could also send a Houndmaster in with them, or a Man-at-Arms specifically to protect her. Um, I don't know if the if the people get extra bonuses if you send them with more than one person from the Darkest Dungeon. So I'm going to decide that next time. I'm going to look that up and I'll decide. This is probably the, who we're going to be sending, but I don't know yet. So uh, I hope you enjoyed watching this, though. I, I, 
it, it, it was a pretty easy run, but it was necessary. Um, I definitely enjoyed playing it, though. I'm HMV, and I will. As always, talk at you later.